the day before the event, and arrangements are well underway. Two combines have arrived on site at nearby Bentwaters Airfield, and agricultural engineer Robert Self is busy preparing them for work. The headers' transverse canvases are removed when not in use to prevent them from stretching when under tension, so they're being slid back into place. They're pulled tight and secured with leather straps and buckles. A canvas flap is then tied in place to cover the buckles. The 21 has over 60 grease nipples, so a thorough greasing is necessary. The radiator coolant level is checked, followed by the engine oil, although the dipstick is quite awkward to get to. The fuel tank is then topped up with fresh petrol. It's about three miles across the airbase and country lanes to the field. Absolute top speed of the 21 with the throttle wide open is seven miles per hour, which although seemingly sedate now, was a good speed for machine in its day. However, to achieve this fast road speed, the drive pulleys must be swapped around. At the field, the unloading auger, removed for transport, is refitted. The ground drive pulleys are being swapped back over again, ready for field work. It takes some time and effort, but it's made much quicker by a modern impact wrench. However, in practice, many owners felt it wasn't worth the time and put up with the 2.5 miles per hour top speed on all but the longest journeys when moving between fields. So what is this, a gear change or something? Yeah, from uh, low speed to high speed. With everything ready, it's time to try the combine in some wheat. It was used briefly last year, so everything should be working fine.
With this machine proven, it's back to the airbase to get the next combine out of the barn. This 21, freshly painted this year, has been sent up from Dorset for the event by owner Mike Taylor. The air intake stack, which filters radiator cooling air, was removed for transport, affording us a good opportunity to see the radiator. It's now being refitted.